Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to our weekly COT review. Today we're going to be analyzing the 45th Commitments of Traders Report of 2023. And as we always do, we shall start off by looking at the largest changes in commercials net positions. Before we jump to the review, just a brief reminder for those who are just joining into COT analysis, they're new to this topic. Here at cotbase.com, you'll find a lot of educational material. Not only do we have these in written format, uh, but we have some very useful videos as well if you click here to help and uh, of course uh, videos about our indicators and a, a few good tutorial videos about cot analysis uh, and of course we're always there for you if you have any questions feel free to comment underneath these videos or send us an email to info at cotbase.com i'd also like to uh, take the opportunity to request a like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and find it valuable thank you very much let's get to it so we are talking about net positions i'm just gonna bring this back for a second and we are analyzing the classic cot report type there's of course multiple report types but basically the classic is the 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 foundation of all uh, it has the longest history uh cftc the commodity futures trading commission has started uh, disaggregating these reports into uh more detailed categories uh, around 2007, 2008, if I'm not mistaken. So these ones have less history. That's the reason why I analyzed this in these reviews. And we're analyzing the combined futures and options data type. You can actually focus on futures. And at cotbase.com, you actually have the opportunity to analyze options only data if you wish. Um, so we're gonna get started and Brazilian Real is on top of our list with a 52% change. Uh, this change is measured based on a 52 week look back period. So we look back in time 52 weeks and measure the recent change size uh, based on uh, that 52 week uh, range. And so in Brazilian Real, as you can see, this 52% is huge. We have seen similar changes in the past. It is a bearish change signal. Uh, suggesting weakness. Now we have seen weakness uh, throughout this week uh, that the report is uh, focused on. Uh, so the signal may be a little bit late for us to act upon. Um, however, I am gonna show you in just a moment uh, a tool that I think could be used uh, regardless of whether you have a COT data or not. The five years chart gives us the opportunity to measure stress levels in this market. Uh, and you can see that we are, if you take the horizontal line, and I am looking at commercials, by the way, commercials, of course, they are represented with this red line underneath the chart. Large speculators are in green. And on a separate scale chart, we have small speculators. Uh, due to their smaller volume of trading, we, we put them on a, a, a separate scale so they become more visible. Um, so here you can see that we are leaning towards bearish extremes. Uh, we have seen greater bearish extremes uh, back in, in 2022. Uh, so that's pretty much what you can do uh, from a COT analysis perspective. So we have a COT chain signal that is bearish, but it was a little bit late. Now, if you are somebody who has given a chance um, to try out uh, the ICOT intraday indicator, so this is actually our own indicator. I'm gonna jump back over here for a sec and show you that under indicators, you will find a bunch of tools that can be used to analyze the commitments of traders report issued by CFTC. This is called the COT, COT Base Pro Indicator. It's pretty much the same thing you see in my reviews, uh, but it gives you the opportunity to analyze the reports in NinjaTrader. And then we have the ICOT, which is our own indicator, intraday, intraday COT analysis. Obviously the data itself is not from CFTC, but we back, basically what we've done is, is used AI and other methods to really try to find that uh, correlation with classic COT analysis. And we did, we did, I think it do a good job. It took us many years, uh, but here you can see a, a very good screenshot of, of, of how it works and what different signal types we have. So this is actually a tool that you could use even when there's no uh, COT report, as in my previous video, I was just saying that the, the report was delayed and you can actually use it. And in the case of the Brazilian real, you can see that just at this top here, um, we get these stripe signals. Stripe, we call them, these are vertical lines. Basically, they happen when we have both large speculators and uh, commercials at an extreme, right? So that actually was a signal uh, that we have, we could have seen earlier uh, and then the COT chain signal that we got, and you could have acted upon that. And with the after signal, 
after signal is, uh, is basically where you can see these sell and buy uh, signals that actually filters out a bunch of unsuccessful signals in the past. You can see here that we have these uh, signals and we only enter uh, the trade once it is confirmed. So it's a very useful tool. This is, by the way, a four hour candlestick chart. Uh, the tool is uh, created for intraday uh, trading, so you can actually take it down into the very short time frames. But I'm showing it to you on this uh, larger time frame because it is correlating with uh, the analysis I just did on the Brazilian real. Let's move on and have a look at soybeans, which is our next market. We have a 28% change over here in commercials net positions. We're gonna see that in just a second. Here we have the one year chart. So you can see this change, it's definitely much greater than average. I'd say top five, top 10 definitely. And the good thing about this one is that it's coming as the market is headed higher. So it is signaling that we may see a bit of a, a fallback uh, after a couple weeks of, of rise in soybeans. Moving to a five year chart, we get a chance to examine the stress levels. And you can see that we should be cautious about any uh, short trades because we have uh, witnessed a, a relatively larger bullish extreme. I'm not saying like huge all time because if, if you look at this five years chart that go back to May of 2019, that was a bullish uh, extreme. And by the way, it actually coincided with the bottom over here on this five years chart. So what a wonderful, what a wonderful extreme uh, signal over there. Uh, it wasn't that large, but it was significant. You can see that not too many, especially since 2020, we don't see commercials going net long. And, and we just had that um, back in September. And that may be signaled a bottom and we could see uh, soybeans rise uh, from here. So even though we have this bearish chain signal, I'd be very cautious about it. Crude oil is our next market, the Brent crude. Here we have a 26% change in commercials net position. You can see that the change size is not that dramatic. Uh, I really wouldn't consider this to be something I'd, I'd act upon, to be honest with you. And then if we open a five years chart, you can see that we are maybe closer to a bearish extreme. But I, again, to be honest, nothing exciting from uh, crude oil in this recent report. So let's move on and have a look at large speculators COT extreme. Where do we have the largest? And it's in the Minneapolis wheat. Um, and here you can see large speculators at an all time. All time means we have never ever in the history of COT data on the Minneapolis wheat. Have, have we ever seen the net positions of large speculators at these levels? So it's, a, it's a very significant extreme. Uh, it's it's I wouldn't say it's it's an easy task like it's not saying that okay from now on we're gonna see higher prices but it is a stress level and it, it's signaling that there should be a shift in this downtrend we should see a rise coming in the next couple of weeks or possibly month ahead of us the Canadian dollar is our next market with a 332 report extreme that can be seen on the chart over here Again, very significant bullish extreme signaling uh, a, a bullish move uh, in the medium to long term in the Canadian dollar. Um, I think I think COT analysis works very well on grains, on 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 forex um, currency futures. So it's 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 something that you can definitely um, benefit from. So it's a bullish extreme suggesting strengthening the Canadian dollar. Uh, the Kansas City wheat, you know what, we're going to jump over that. It's pretty much <laughs> going to correlate with the Minneapolis wheat. I just want to show you another market. And uh, here we have orange juice. Orange juice, uh, 95 report extreme. Uh, so it's not that exciting, to be very honest with you. Um, if, if you take the horizontal line, you can see that we have seen a greater bearish extremes in the past. And, uh, of course, we are uh, far away uh, from anything bullish, uh, right? So uh, it is leaning towards the the, the bearish side of, of, of things, uh, which is not surprising because we are witnessing orange juice uh, just in increasing in value uh, for quite some time now. So um, it is a bearish extreme, um, but uh, I again, it's it's not necessarily that obvious. I, I like all timer, you know, something more more significant. Um, Maybe it's not something I would trade. I, I might look at the ICOT intraday indicator, uh, even though it's an intraday indicator, I think it's very valuable on, on longer term charts as well. Daily candle six, four hours as I showed you on the Brazilian Real. 
Anyways, that's that's going to be all for this review. Uh, of course, there's more to do here at cotbase.com. You can look at all the market categories. I'm just showing you a few. Uh, you can dig into specific uh, markets if you wish. We talked about the Canadian dollar. Uh, you can click here and, and analyze uh, any uh, data type and, of course, chart these as well. If you wish, you can also, um, uh, with the pro membership, you can download the data. And as I said, we have the wonderful ICOT intraday indicator, very unique approach to trading. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this review. I wish you guys a wonderful week. See you next time.